Welcome everybody to Brookdale Community College. I know I recognize most of you because you're all uh, members of the college community. Welcome to Brookdale. Welcome to the eSports uh, arena. This is a very exciting night for us, something that's been uh, on our agenda that we've had as a part of our vision for at least the last five years. And, um, and all the work that has gone into the development of this site, really, I have to thank our Board of Trustees for, uh, for their support of allowing us to be able to use uh, some of our funding so that we could develop this site. Uh, and I also have to give credit to Jimmy Episcopia. Jimmy, thank you for your leadership. And of course, um, our director, our amazing director, Chris Bomer. Chris, thank you so much for all of your work. Congratulations to you all. You didn't come here to hear me. You came here to hear from Chris. Uh, we're going to hear all about eSports. And I uh, just wanted to say I, we're so excited. Hopefully, everybody will have a chance to uh, go, come into the site, if you haven't already, and, uh, and tour, see what it's all about, and make sure that you mention to your friends that this is a place everybody should see. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Chris, it's all yours. Thank you, Dr. Stout. Esports at its core is competitive video games. When implemented at the collegiate level, esports evolves into something truly special, able to be bolstered by Brookdale's outstanding academic programs, passionate community, and a reputation for excellence in our traditional athletics teams. Brookdale esports is poised to become another pillar, lifting the college up. Our varsity teams will represent Brookdale in intercollegiate competition in the NJCAAE. Tryouts concluded last week with over 60 participants that were narrowed down to a total of 19 across three different game titles. Wow. <laughs> These students must maintain an eligibility status consisting of a credits taken minimum as well as a GPA requirement. When it comes time for match day, our varsity teams will compete on our competition stage equipped with top of the line PCs, professional audio, video, and lighting equipment, backed by a prioritized network with all the action showcased behind them on a 20 foot by eight foot LED video wall. Our, st our, st <laughs> perfect. Love you, Ace. <laughs> our students interested in the production side of esports will be able to mix the game footage, cameras, and audio to put on professional quality productions to be broadcast live to sites like twitch.tv and YouTube. With our one-of-a-kind announcer's desk, our students can call play-by-play -play or bring the hype for all the in-game action. The versatility of the eSports arena also offers a home to not only Brookdale's gaming population, but Monmouth County's as well. Our doors are open to students and the public for equipment rentals. Whether it be on one of our gaming PCs, a seat at one of the TVs, each equipped with the latest gaming consoles, or just kicking it old school, trying to set the high score on Pac-Man at one of our custom arcade cabinets. We have something to bring out the esports enthusiast in everyone. Seeing the look of excitement on every person's face as they, have, as they have walked through those doors the past two weeks has been truly humbling. A lot of passion, planning, and hard work has gone into making the Brookdale Esports Arena a place where students can thrive while doing something they love, where no one is excluded or feels isolated. In the short span since the doors have been opened, I have seen students come alive and break out of their shell because of the community being formed and the interests they share with each other. When a person can feel comfortable and empowered enough to be their true self, they gain invaluable clarity into reaching their potential. I do have some thank yous that I was adamant about addressing here because I am so grateful and feel they should be recognized publicly. First and foremost, my wife, Cassandra. She has, she has given me so much support and endured all my ramblings throughout this project. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> to the Board of Trustees, for seeing the potential and fully supporting esports here at Brookdale, I promise it was worth the wait. <laughs> Mike Naparlo and Michelle Brannigan, who probably don't want to see my name on the caller ID for a, <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Their efforts from the facility side of the house were above and beyond. To my former department OIT, George Satirian, Jack Brannon, and Tamar Fahmy especially, they worked tirelessly to make sure the eSports arena was well equipped and the network traffic would be fast and reliable. To Nate Zerby, Neil Onder, and Ryan DeBella, their events expertise ensured operations would run smooth. Nate, I might need to uh, borrow another TV. I'll, fi I'll find you after this. <laughs> 
to Lauren Conkart, <laughs> to Lauren Conkart and the BTV crew. Their footage and eagerness to help promote Brookdale Esports is amazing. To CDW and Horizon AVL, the facilitators and masterminds behind the Brookdale Esports Arena, cheers to an amazing facility for all of Monmouth County to enjoy. And last but not least, I have a couple surprise gifts. They have been so supportive of me, and I hope I have done them proud. Would our CFO, Teresa Manfreda, AVP of Operations, Jimmy Episcopia, and our President, Dr. Stout, please come forward and get your customized Brookdale Esports jersey. <laughs> Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Stout. <laughs> I want this. I didn't make the team. So. It's my only way to get a trip. Thank you so much. Um, Back when this first started, I put out a survey to the Brookdale community, and one of the options was an open response where people could write anything they felt about starting an esports program here at Brookdale. There was one student's rep response that stuck with me throughout the whole process, and they simply wrote, make it cool. <laughs> I'm confident we fulfilled that student's wishes. Without further ado, let's cut this ribbon and celebrate a new chapter for Brookdale. <laughs> 